Okay, we are live. Welcome everyone, if you are here. Welcome Melissa, welcome Angela, welcome Chrissy Tina, welcome Holly. I hope everyone is having a really, really great, um, I almost said Monday, <laughs> it's, um, it's Wednesday. <laughs> and um, rolling into the new year for Magical News Live. Oh, thank you so much guys from coming here from uh, Nick's stream. Uh, this has been a really long week, so <laughs> forgive me for thinking that it was Monday. I love that everyone's coming in here saying rolling into the new year for Magical News Live. Thank you so much, Nick, for sending everyone over. And I hope you guys had a fun time on Nick's stream. Oh, welcome Donna, welcome Juan, welcome Cargo, um, welcome Kay. Welcome, Dan. Amy, welcome. I think I've, I've gotten everyone. Howdy, Miguel. Oh, thanks so much, Cargo. I got a new um, a Mickey Mouse sweater. So I'm really excited that I got that for Christmas. Um, so today, I wanted to show you guys um, or talk to you guys a little bit about my experience at the Mickey Mouse True Original art exhibit. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. And I know, say, Nick has been there. Hi, our Johns. Hi, our Disney Adventures. Um, wait, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> but I know Nick, thank you so much, Donna. I know Nick has been to the art exhibit. Welcome, Big Bear 77. This is the first time you've been in the stream, so welcome. Um, if you guys are just coming in, too, make sure you hit that thumbs up. But like I said, I know Nick went to the um, the art exhibit, and I think maybe some some other people did. I know Rob went. Um, Nick says yes, I went there and loved it. Streamed it. Yes, I remember that you streamed it. I was there um, watching you stream it. Uh, it just was. It was so much fun to go and see it. It was part of my Christmas present from my brother, and I'm very lucky that he gave that to me as a gift. Dan, I know you couldn't go. Oh, thank you so much, Holly. Welcome to the channel. I know I see you in next stream, so thank you so much for subscribing. And I have a little doggie here. She's just Rose. Come here, Rose. Come here, Rosie. Ugh. So I have Rosie here. She's a good girl. And um, she's eating a treat right now. And she put it on me, so. <laughs> um. <laughs> you beautiful thing, you. I love it. Uh, she hears other dogs barking, so she's getting excited. Yeah, she is really cute. She's a Bernadoodle. So she's a Bernese Mountain miniature poodle mix, and I'm I'm watching her for the evening. And um, yes, thank you so much for everyone who came from Nick's stream. Hi, Chris. Welcome. Yes, it's a fur baby, and she's just the cutest thing. She just keeps coming to my computer. <laughs> she does want to share. She's just the sweetest. You can't see her, but she's just, like, right here. <laughs> Rosie, the Internet is saying hi. Do you see people on the Internet? <gasps> yeah. Okay. She's just bored with us now. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Donna. You guys want to say hi to Rosie? <laughs> She's just the cutest. Um, but for people that didn't have a chance to go to the um, the art exhibit or are interested in learning a little bit more information about it, um, please don't hesitate to ask any questions. I did put out, a, I streamed half of it and then I put out another video with sort of the rest. Welcome, Timothy. Um, I put the rest of it out. <laughs> Uncle Joe's dog likes Rosie. Rough, rough squirrel. <laughs> squirrel? I always have a lot of squirrel moments. But I think... Oh, thanks, Our Disney Adventures. <laughs> um, yes, that is my Etsy shop. I do sell ears and stuff. And you can see some of her doggy treats here. Um, oh, is Arjun's leaving? Bye, Arjun's. Have fun wherever you're going. I missed it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but... If you guys have any questions about the exhibit, I was just going to talk. Here she is again. <laughs> She's just excited. <laughs> um, yes, welcome Uncle Joe's dog, one of my other favorite people here. And I had a really, really lovely time at the exhibit. We ended up going on, we went a week from, like a week ago today. We went on a Wednesday night 
It was basically empty. It was so wonderful. All the cast members were so attentive, probably because we were like one of the only people there, uh, some of the only people there. <laughs> and I just had so much fun. Hi, Jill. Welcome. I, for people who didn't have a chance to go, you end up, it's on the, the lower west side. So it did take a little bit of time to get there for us. Um, we're, I live in Connecticut, so it is a little bit of a train ride. Did you try the free ice cream and get copyrighted on the intro video? So I can't eat dairy, so I didn't get to eat any ice cream, but my mom did, and she said it was delicious. And um, I did get copyrighted on the intro video, <laughs> and that's okay. I don't mind that too much. I claim myself as the copyright queen, and I just think that it's it's okay. I don't get paid to do my videos, so why not? Um, Okay, Uncle Joe's dog. Yes, Dan, I would love to do a train ride one day. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it is kind of a stupid copyright, but hi, Caesar. Welcome. We have another friend again. Come on, Rosie. Come sit here. Um, yes, hi, everyone. And so we have a special guest here. <laughs> She's just really excited. It is a pop-up exhibit, so it is going through the uh, like the middle of February. I could post the link to the actual website. Or I might have. I don't remember. Um, it goes through sometime in February, so you still have about a month and a half to see it. And I know, guys, and she's just the cutest. <laughs> and um, like I was saying when we were there. There was like almost one other woman was in the viewing room with us. Nick, if you remember, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure there were like a lot more people than that when you went to go see it. And hi, Orlando Parks Rover. <laughs> yes, we have a puppers here. Hi. Oh, thanks, Jay. <laughs> so she isn't actually my dog, but I'm watching her for the evening and we're best buddies. So hi, Scott. Welcome. She is like, she's five months old. Holy cow, 20 to 30 people. So there was one other person besides my group of me, my mom, and myself. So four people and then the cast member. And, oh, you went on a Friday at 12. Okay. And we went at – Rosie's taking over the stream here. We went on a Wednesday at 4 o'clock. <laughs> and uh, – Rosie, can we share Can we share the screen? <laughs> um, I'm just trying to like pop my head around. So she just, she's being a camera hog right now. And yeah, puppy takeover. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, Rosie takeover. Rosie, <laughs> sit down, sweetie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so there was one other person in the screening room with us and we ended up seeing like one other person throughout the entire exhibit. She's just like really excited to be here right now. <laughs> and um, it was just so fantastic. We got to spend as long as we wanted wherever we were. All the cast members were helping us find hidden Mickeys. There were about three hidden Mickeys per room. I know, isn't she so cute? She's just the cutest. and. So she's like, her back legs are like standing up on me, but then she's laying down, her head is like in my elbow. And uh, so there were like three or four hidden Mickeys in each room. It was a really wonderful, hey, our themed life. life. <laughs> I have a dog here. <laughs> this is Rosie. <laughs> yes, Alyssa, Rosie's so cute. She's an internet star now. She's just getting excited. Um, so I, um, we're just talking about the uh, Mickey True Original Art Exhibit in New York City. If you guys have a chance to go and see. Yeah, I didn't know if it was Mike Dance Ho. I was just like, hey. <laughs> um, so if you guys have a chance to go. Oh my gosh, yes, hashtag Rosie Rules. She's the internet queen right now. She is such a cutie. Um, I didn't know that I'd be having a special guest right now. <laughs> I I had given her a T-R-E-A-T -E because she knows the word. Um, and her bed is just down below. Oh, she's just a little puppy. And um, like I said, she's five months old. And she's just hanging out now. She's just being a watchdog. <laughs> oh, hey, Walt and Melissa. 
I know, Dan, I can't say it. And this has gotten way off track because she's now controlling the stream. <laughs> um, yes, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for being here on this sort of last minute. Um, she does like to snuggle, Donna. She's a good cuddler. Um, she was, she was uh, cuddling with me. <laughs> hey, Archangel, welcome. Um, Rosie for president. <laughs> Rosie, they're saying that you should be president. Yeah. Um, so we ended up going, um, like I said, at a four at four o'clock on a Wednesday, and it was just she does need her own channel, Nick. Oh my gosh, this has turned into the Rosie stream. This isn't even about Mickey Mouse anymore. She's as popular. Oh, hi, Surfer Girl. This is Rosie. Um, Rose, let's show everyone your beautiful face. Oh, hey. She just is the cutest. Rosie's magic. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> anyway, like I said, we went at 4 o'clock on a Wednesday. And so if you are going, I would highly suggest going during the middle of the week. Um, and maybe... Like before people go to work. Oh, she's leaving us now. Um, because we had almost the entire exhibit to ourselves, and it was so worth it. Like I said, all the cast members were so attentive to us. They were following us around the whole exhibit. At the end of the the art exhibit, they had something like a Google Play thing, and you're like, "Hey, Mickey, let's play," or something like that, and. Yeah, everyone's saying bye, Rosie, now. <laughs> um, so when we played, we were able to get a special pin um, for just participating. And when we played, since no one else was there, it was just the three of us. Like, So me, my mom, and my brother playing. I was goofy, as you guys might have seen if you checked out the video. But my favorite piece was definitely the Keith Haring one. And um, I know I posted that on my Instagram. Hi, sweetheart. Um, you want to come back up? Okay. She's decided she wants to come back. And <laughs> I just love Keith Haring's pieces. He, like, oh my gosh, just the talent. Um, <laughs> yes, pins, Donna. It, the pin was really nice. I showed a little clip of it. She's taking over the stream again. Um, <laughs> um, I showed a little clip of it when I put it in my video. And she's just, oh my gosh, she's just taken over the stream. <laughs> um, oh, come here, Rose. <laughs> and uh, I I think if you're going to go, it's really, really worth it. Um, this is just the weirdest position and the weirdest stream I've ever had so far. <laughs> um, if you guys are in the area or near New York City or going to take a trip to New York City anytime soon, I would highly suggest it. It was about a 20 minutes, uh, like transportation ish. Like we took the subway, um, we took the four train from. Um, yes, Nick definitely said it was worth it. I think it's worth it. Um, we took the four train to um, from Grand Central, and then we got on the L train to Eighth Avenue, and we walked um, from Eighth Avenue. Disney Fiasco Pet Edition, Megan, Rosie, and Manny, and Corey, and Tiki. <laughs> probably, Holly. That's probably it. Um, Mike says the Mickey exhibit looked really cool. I've seen a few different clips from it from others. Got to check yours out, Meg. Yes. Um, so I, sorry, Rosie's face is just in the middle. And <laughs> I live streamed about half of it. And then I said to myself, um, I wanted to fully experience it as like a human being, not just like live streaming it through a phone. And so I really wanted to experience it. I shut my phone off after about a half hour. It took us about an hour to get through the exhibit. Um, they say to plan for about 90 minutes. And we took about an hour. And then they have this nice gift shop at the end. And then we came to like my favorite room. And oh, she's laying down now. <laughs> and um, in the second, so I did like a live stream of half of it, and then I made a clip, a, like video clips of um, what what I did at or what I got after the live stream ended. And uh, so I was really excited to find this neon green room. And 
Oh, have a magical night, Scott. Thanks so much for stopping in. <laughs> and those are pieces of bacon. <laughs> I didn't know they had bacon emojis. Anyway, <laughs> I was able to go into this nice green room after um, we finished the exhibit. It was sort of within the gift shop area and was definitely our favorite room. We, Like I said, we were the only people. Yes, the green room, copyright too, yeah. The green room was so much fun. Like I said, we were the only people there. And so we just ended up having like this huge dance party by ourselves. And we got, my mom got some of it on video. It was really fun um, to dance with my brother. Um, Dan, I'm just throwing it out there that I could be on panels now. So I don't, we just don't have a working camera for it. I know, Cargo, you have um, your headphones. Sorry, it looks like I'm just like oddly, like she's down here. If you could see her, she's, her head is here. Rose. Hi, Rosie. Yeah, you're so cute. This whole thing is just going to be, oh, here she is, the star of the show, Miss Rosie. Rose, you have such a pretty face. Yeah. So this isn't turned into the Mickey Mouse exhibit. It's turned into the Rosie show. Yeah, you're so cute. Cargo's captain headset is still missed. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, isn't she so cute, guys? Oh, my gosh, she's the best. And she's so well-behaved. Um, maybe later I'll take a video of us. I was teaching her how to sit and lay down. Um, Y'all were hilarious. You look like you're having so much fun. Yes, we definitely had a lot of fun. Um, my brother and I were just dancing like... We did not care. It was so much fun to go in that room. And like I said, we were the only people really in almost the entire exhibit. There was one other person that entered at the same time as us. And so it was just empty and it was magical. And Nick also mentioned beforehand, um, he, well, he asked me if I had tried some of the ice cream. Throughout the exhibit, you do get some free ice cream. And because I don't eat dairy, my brother had like something wrong with his tooth that day where he couldn't have sugar. Oh, thank you so much, Donna. So we couldn't eat the ice cream, but my mom did. And she said it was really great. Um, that was also one of my favorite rooms. And um, as always, I enjoyed looking for hidden Mickeys. So if you guys like looking for hidden Mickeys, yes, hashtag free ice cream. Yeah, a, dog, a puppy dog vlog just adds, adds a Disney pin in it. Oh, yeah, she's cute. Um, but like I said, you get the free ice cream. We got a free pin for playing the game. Um, my mom and my brother gave me their pins because they are like licensed Disney pins. So I'm sure you could trade them in the park. Um, I plan on keeping one of them just for the experience. I don't know what I'll do with the other two. Um, I will figure that out at some point. <laughs> I'm in no rush. But then they also gave us this really nice pamphlet um, that has the entire like map of the exhibit. And so they have each room um, going in. If you rewatch like the live stream or the extra clips that I have, you walk in first and you see Walt Disney's Oscar. It's so incredible. That is like the first thing you see after you watch the intro video, which is also really cool. My brother, who isn't a huge Disney fan, he wanted to come. Um, <laughs> he wanted to come and just have some fun with us and see the exhibit. And um, he was just saying how cool the editing was. And yes, you really do, Donna. You get a lot of stuff with your Rose. <laughs> you get a lot of stuff with your ticket. I know you guys could barely see me. Rosie is the star of the show tonight. Um, but after you watch the intro video, which is such a cool video, um, you guys could check out the video on my live stream if you want to see it. Or I'm sure a lot of other people like Nick have it. Hey, Rob, what's up? And then once you get out of the intro video, then you go and you start to see Walt Disney's Oscar, which is so awesome. And then you see this huge neon wall with Mickey Mouse on it. Um, you could like stand up in this. Yes, it definitely does. It's like such a pump up video. It makes me want to go out and create things. Um, sounds so cool. Unfortunately for me, I don't think my fear of big cities would allow me to go for myself. The nice thing is that it's really not in the heart of, I mean, it's in Manhattan, 
but it's sort of away from a lot of things. And when I went, she is really chill, but we ran a lot earlier. So she's just hanging out now. <laughs> um, because it's sort of away from other things, it's not as crowded, or at least my experience, um, it, it just wasn't very crowded. Yes, for sure, Rob. Rosie is adorable. Gotta run, guys. Working on the 2018 recap video for our channel. Oh, that's so cool. Ten of Royal. Take care, Megan. Everyone, thank you so much, Mike, for stopping in. Um, yeah, as Rob said, it really is kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's not crowded. Rob just said when it when I, he went, it wasn't crowded at all. When I went, it wasn't crowded at all. Like I said, when I went in, it was like literally one other person that came into the intro video with us. So yeah, for sure. I think the reservation helps too. Um, it was in the Lower West Side, Amy. So it wasn't like, it's not an area that I would normally go to, um, but it was definitely interesting. Um, oh, oh gosh. Um, yeah, for sure, Chrissy Tina. Um, yeah, yeah, Rob, it really was. Um, oh, here, here's Rosie again. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. So after you go and you see, you could stand up. Yeah, so after Rob, we did go into Chelsea Market, and that was way more crowded than the exhibit was. <laughs> and um, so after you go into the first room, they do have different renditions of what Steamboat Willie would be like, and that was so awesome. Um, for the most part, I, yeah, me too, Rob. If you guys are interested in seeing anything sp specific, like I said, you could definitely go and check out what I had live streamed earlier from last week. Um, Nick said there was like 20 to 30 other people who went into the intro video with him and I had one other person. So mine was really, really dead. I would say the first week. Um, so like maybe went right, went around you went um, Rob or Nick, uh, it, it like was really crowded because it had just opened. And so since mine was a couple weeks after it had opened, I think a lot of the hype sort of died down just a little bit. Oh, Rob had less than 10 people. Okay. And so I think it was really cool to see all the different renditions of what Steamboat Willie looked like to different artists. And as someone, like, I don't like to consider myself an artist, but I do do a lot of art for, like, my schooling and for other things that I do in life. And so I'm always very interested to see how people, like, create different images based off of, like, say, in, for instance, Steamboat Willie and to see what they come up with of what Steamboat Willie looks like to them. See, I thought it would be more crowded when you went because it was, yeah. So definitely the Christmas rush. They said if I had come this week or um, like anytime this week, last weekend, this weekend, it would have been really, really crazy. I was lucky to when I went because it wasn't that crowded. Yeah, I think, I mean, Nick went relatively short, shortly after it had opened. But, oh, thank you so much, Surfer Girl. I was really lucky with the amount of people that went. So after entering the first room, um, they had this huge mural about a hot dog because that was Mickey's first word. And then going into the next room, they had this giant Mickey that was coming out of the wall. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. Um, I got my picture taken next to it and we were looking for hidden Mickeys. And then the next one had this comic book art, which was so cool. Hi, Laurel. Um, he went about two weeks after opening. Okay, really cool. Not sure when it opened. I think it opened right around then. Oh, thanks, Cargo. <laughs> I couldn't even listen to myself talk for that long. Um, okay, Angela, drive safe. Um, we'll see you real soon. And so after the, yeah, the Mickey coming out of the wall was really cool. And after that room, they had this giant, like they had two giant optical illusions. That was, they were really, really cool. And um, if you lined up in a specific spot, you got to see the whole thing come together as a piece of art. And then if you moved away, you just see its pieces. And so I always thought that was really interesting. Then the whole wall was covered in what looked like comic book art. And that was really cool too. It had some uh, like torn pages or folded over pages that just made it really authentic. Um, the next thing was, um, let's see. 
Then we went into a room um, that was like filled with paint. Um, it was like really neon-y and it was really cool. Um, welcome, Amanda. And um, I'm trying to think what else. So we went when we went into that room, then we went into the Sorcerer Mickey room, which was one of my favorites. It was so cool. We spent, I, I would say, after the like the first room, we definitely spent the most time in the Sorcerer Mickey room. It was so cool to see the Sorcerer Mickey hat. And then after the Sorcerer Mickey room, we went in to see, they had this huge crocheted piece. It was really beautiful. I had never seen anything like it. It took up an entire fence. They said the artist does that along like fences or buildings in the city. And so my brother was going to try and find some of her other pieces. Yeah, Rob says, if anyone wants to start planning, it closes in February. Yes. So if you don't know, it is a pop-up exhibit. It was only open from November to February. So if you do plan on seeing it, um, please. Wait, today's Thursday? I thought... <laughs> okay. Um, at the beginning of the video, I said, I hope everyone's having a great Monday, or I was going to. And then I was like, no, it's Wednesday, but I guess it's Thursday. So everyone's having a happy Thursday. Thanks, Amanda, for letting me know. <laughs> Um, but the crochet piece was so incredible. And then there was this giant Mickey t-shirt that, um, I know Dan, oh my gosh, I, I've just been really out of it. <laughs> uh, I did say Monday originally because I normally live stream on Monday. <laughs> so please forgive me guys. Yes. So it is Friday in Australia for my Australia friends. Um, I am really far off then if it, I'm saying it's Wednesday and it's <laughs> it's it's Thursday and then it's Friday in Australia. Yeah, so if you guys want to see how big the t-shirt is, I stood next to it because Rob was like, we need some perspective on how big it is. And uh, so I was like, I gave my brother my phone. I was like, can you just hold this for like a second? And um, we we I just stood in front of it and you could totally see how ginormous the t-shirt was. And then we started moving in. The next room was where you get the free ice cream. And that's where I ended my stream. It was like a very 50s-esque um, room. It was so cool. I got a lot of pictures in it. Um, now that I have access to the community tab, I've been like posting some pictures um, of some of the pieces. So there was like a blue Mickey in there. I have to leave to go to Costco but Mr. Cargo with Mr. Cargo, but I hope you have an awesome stream and we'll talk soon. So, oh, thank you so much, Cargo. Have fun at Costco. Uh, oh, thanks, Cargo. <laughs> um, but after that, I cut the stream and I should have kept going because I like the next room was probably my favorite room. And that was, like I said, with the Keith Herring piece. And that was definitely my favorite one. Um, they had these really awesome Mickey hands in there. And for people that plan on seeing it, I didn't want to ruin the entire thing for everyone. I wanted some people to experience it. I wanted to experience it and be in the moment. Thank you so much, Jill. Um, yes, hugs and squishes to cargo. Have fun shopping. Exactly. And so after that one, um, we ended up in like this huge like archival place with so much. Hey, Ray J. Oh, hello from Hong Kong Disneyland. That's so cool. I hope you're having fun there. Anyway, we went into this really cool archival, like where they had um, all the archives from, um, they had really cool um, plushies, like some of the original plushies. And they had this huge Mickey wall and it was so cool. And this is where you did the Google play thing for the Hey Mickey. And, um, this was sort of the end of the exhibit, which I didn't know that there was a whole nother room, the green room after we went to through the gift shop and the gift shop did have a lot of Mickey 90s stuff. Um, I, didn't end up picking up anything. I really wanted to pick up some pins, but I was sort of underwhelmed by, I don't understand as a pin collector, I know that pins are really expensive anyway, but for me, it's really hard to pay $10 plus tax for a mystery pin, just one mystery pin in a box. And I know that they're special pins. I know that they're limited release, 
but I couldn't justify spending $10 on one mystery pin from this exhibit. And I really wanted to. <laughs> we bought out the entire store. I got a lanyard to hold my AP card. That's so cool, Nick. I, I just already spent so much money on Christmas presents, and I'm trying to save money because I'm going back to Disney. Surprise, surprise. I'm going um, in 11 days. I think um, I haven't been like counting the days as much. Um, I just am very excited to see some of my friends down there, but I haven't, I've been like very low key about it and I didn't want to talk about it too much, but I'm very excited to go and I'm trying to save up money because Disney is expensive and I have to pay for all my stuff, but it's so cool, Nick, that you got a lot of stuff. Um, they had really cool t-shirts. What, when, how? So, Dan, I haven't talked about it a lot, but like for a while, I have known that I was going in January and I'm going to meet up with Corey and Haley and I'm so excited because we're going to have so much fun. And I can't wait until Dan comes and we all hang out together and it's going to be fiasco fam for life. For life. Yeah, I'm really excited, guys. I can't wait to try and do a little bit of live streaming. I like videoing and doing my vlogs. Um, I'm moving to Orlando soon, so I'm trying to stay for that. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting, Amanda. I'm so jealous. All of my friends are moving to Orlando, and I'm like, I'm really jealous of everyone. Um, but I have to finish school first, so um, I'm really excited to be going in less than two weeks now. So, oh, no worries, Holly. Um, so I don't think the Tim Tracker did it. I don't know about Justin Scard. Anyone could tell me if um, if he did another one. But this is a special exhibit in New York City. So I know that the Tim Tracker hasn't been up here. <laughs> um, they generally do stuff in Orlando. But it's a special exhibit, pop-up exhibit, um, that's only here for a couple of months. And we're just celebrating Mickey Mouse's birthday. I finally got my Mickey Mouse globe with music and Mickey figures through the years. Oh, I love it. Hard to get good Mickey stuff down under. Yeah, I'm so happy you were able to get some of that. But um, once you go through the gift, like the gift store, the gift shop, then like to the left, I was like, wow, what is this like roped off? No worries, Holly. Um, it was like, a, it wasn't roped off, but it had like a black curtain. I was like, ooh, what is this? This looks so fancy. And then my brother went in and he was like, come in here. And then I was like, oh my gosh, what is in here? And then it was the huge dance party that we had. If you guys see any of the video from it, I did put out a small video um, from the rest of the exhibit and from sort of my nighttime adventures in the city. And um, yes, the green room <laughs> and, um, from some of the other things that I saw Christmas decorations in the city, which is always really beautiful. A lot of people were saying how much excitement and how extra special it is during the Christmas time in New York city. And I'm lucky that I don't live too, too far from the city. I'm sure Nick feels the same way. I actually think Nick lives closer to the city than I do. But I was really lucky I was able to go to the exhibit and see a lot of the Christmas decorations, go to see the tree in Rockefeller Center. I went to go see the Nintendo store, which I always have to go to. Um, we went to the Disney store in Times Square. My mom got a spirit jersey. I got some pins. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put those pins on my pin board. No. <laughs> Guys, I recorded my pin board video yesterday, and I'm just realizing now that I forgot those pins but I had really extra special Christmas pins that I got from the store. <laughs> oh, um, but if you guys have any questions about the exhibit, I would love to answer them. In general, I like a hundred percent. I would suggest you going to see this exhibit before it closes. I think that it was so incredible, especially if you're going on a weekday when it's not as crowded. If you could go during the middle of the day, maybe when other people are working. Um, I think that, having the experience almost to yourself makes it even more magical. Nick saying for anyone going after June, I'll have to meet you moving down in the summer. Oh, I'm so excited, Nick, for your, you and your family. I know, right, Donna? <laughs> Pin redo. <laughs> um, are you going for New Year's Eve in Times Square? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I will never ever go to Times Square for New Year's Eve. You get like blocked in there. You cannot 
like you cannot leave. You can't go to the bathroom. If you go to the bathroom, you lose your spot. I know so many people that have tried to go. It's not something I'll do. I generally spend time with my family. Oh, Nick is 15 minutes away from New York City. So it takes me about an hour and 45 minutes to get in through the train, um, which isn't too bad for me when we're, you know, we have to we're, like say we're going to do this exhibit or um, it just so happened that um, the way that it worked was my dad had a Christmas party in the city for his business and my brother had a Christmas party for his job too. And so um, they were already going in and my mom was saying, well, let's just go and, and we'll hang out with them after their parties are done. We'll go out to dinner or something. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, can we do the Mickey exhibit? And they kept saying no. I was like, I couldn't understand why they kept saying no. And then I realized like my dad had accidentally sent me something in a group text with my brother and me. And he said, I was thinking about giving mom and Meg the, the, the tickets for today. Like, what do you think? And I was like, I'm in this group message. Like what kind of tickets are we talking about? And, um, later in the day, my brother came home from work. Uh, he was, he was coming home to my house and they, Oh, you know, maybe he FaceTimed me. He must've FaceTimed me cause he wasn't coming home, I guess. Um, so he FaceTimed me. My dad gave me my, my mom and I the tickets and, um, I opened them and I'm like, this is why you kept saying no. Like I couldn't understand why they kept saying no. Like I couldn't go. And, um, my mom wouldn't go with me. I was like, mom, you love Disney too. I don't understand. Um, when you buy exhibit tickets, are they for specific days or can you use them anytime? That's a great question, Donna. They are actually for specific dates and specific times. So they are very, like very specific. So you need to know when you're going. My ticket was for a specific date at four o'clock. So, um, I think uh, the 19th, whatever, I don't know what today is, um, or the 20th. Wait, it was the 19th because it was a week. I kept saying today was Wednesday. That's what threw me off. It was a week ago and like eight days ago um, that I went and it was so much fun, but we had it Wednesday at four o'clock specifically. This is how they tried to control the crowds. If only they could do that really at Disney. Uh, I don't know. But if you guys have any more questions, I don't want to take up too much of anyone's time. I sort of wanted to make this a quicker video. Um, Oh, no worries. Yes, today is not Monday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm 24 hour plane ride from New York City. Oh my goodness. Yes, Australia is a really long plane ride. Oh, thank you so much, Erin. Welcome into the live stream and happy holidays to you too. Um, I have a dog here. If anyone missed her, her name is Rosie and she's the cutest thing ever. And she's being such a good girl, are you? And um, like I said, if anyone has any more questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can always leave them in the comments or send me a message. Um, I have my Instagram and my Twitter, which are both Mickey's Magic 28. And um, I am so thankful for you guys hanging out with me right now. I didn't want to make it too long of a stream. I just kind of wanted to hang out with you guys and talk a little bit about my experience because I had so much fun. Um, I would go again in a heartbeat. That's how much I loved it. I don't normally have that much fun at art exhibits, even though I like to do art. Uh, I think this in particular was very special. There were so many amazing artists. They were all so talented. Um, like I said, I would go again in a heartbeat. You had other people in here that when um, Nick said he would go again, uh, <laughs> Rob said he would go again. So I think from the three of us, I would highly suggest you going if you can make it. Um, I know we have some people that are abroad and they cannot make it as like Dan was saying, he's seven hours from New York City. Um, our Angel and Laurel are in Australia. So <laughs> yes, Dan would go again. Dan gives it three thumbs up. Um, Rosie gives it two paws up. She didn't get to go, but she agrees with me. And um, oh, thank you so much, Holly. Um, like I said, guys, I am going to be live stream. No, not live streaming. Um, daily vlogging for the rest of the month, which means like for four more days or whatever. Yes, four more days, which is not that much. But I wanted to finish out the month strong, and I wanted to be able to like. It was sort of a goal of mine to um, to just like do one whole month, and I am gonna do it. So I'm gonna do my best to get out videos. It. It might be later in the day, so please be patient with me if I can't get it earlier in the day. But I hope everyone's having a great Thursday. Uh, 
<laughs> now that I finally figured out what day it is at the end of the day, it's been a long week. Um, I hope everyone had a really, really wonderful Christmas. Um, thank you so much for being here, guys. I just can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for your constant support and love and compassion and your friendship and everything. And um, thank you so much for hanging out with me for this time. And Rosie, you want to say bye? She's like falling asleep. Bye, YouTube. We love you. Uh, Merry Christmas. Bye. You want to say bye? Bye. Have a magical day, everyone. Oh, she's barking now. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>